Have you ever wondered where comets come from or what lies beyond the outer edges of our solar system? Well, let's dive into the cosmic depths and explore a theoretical realm known as the Oort cloud. This is not your typical cloud. It's a massive spherical shell enveloping our solar system, filled with icy objects and remnants from the dawn of our solar system. Imagine being on a journey, starting from our sun and moving outward. You would have to travel a staggering 1,000 to 100,000 astronomical units to reach this celestial frontier. To give you a sense of scale, one astronomical unit is the average distance from the Earth to the Sun. Yes, it's that far. But why does this distant cloud matter? The Oort cloud is believed to be the source of long-period comets. These are comets with orbits that take them hundreds, thousands, or even millions of years to complete, when gravitational forces from nearby stars or the Milky Way itself nudge these icy bodies, they begin their long journey towards the Sun, becoming the spectacular comets we see. The Oort cloud acts like a colossal, deep freezer, preserving these ancient icy bodies. This allows us a glimpse into the past, to the time when our solar system was just forming. Each comet that makes its way to us from the Oort cloud is like a time capsule, carrying with it secrets about the early solar system. But remember, the Oort cloud is still a theory. Despite the evidence we have, it's too distant to observe directly with our current technology. But it serves as a key piece in the cosmic puzzle, helping us understand more about our solar system's formation and the origin of comets. So the Oort cloud, a vast icy reservoir, is our solar system's outermost region, the birthplace of many comets. It's a fascinating, mysterious part of our cosmic neighborhood, waiting to reveal its secrets. As we continue to explore and learn, who knows what other wonders the Oort cloud might hold. Now, you might be wondering, how did the Oort cloud form? Well, let's take a journey back in time to the very early stages of our solar system. It was a time when our sun was just a fledgling star surrounded by a swirling disk of gas and dust. This disk, called the protoplanetary disk, is where all the planets and smaller bodies in our solar system, including those in the Oort cloud, originated. Imagine this protoplanetary disk like a giant cosmic pizza with our young sun at the center and the ingredients or the building blocks of our solar system spread out across it. Some of these ingredients came together to form the planets, while others formed smaller bodies like comets, asteroids, and the objects in the Oort cloud. But here's the interesting part. The Oort cloud objects, unlike the planets and most other bodies in our solar system, didn't stay put. They were thrown into distant orbits far from the Sun. What caused this dramatic relocation? Theories suggest that gravitational interactions with nearby stars or even gas clouds could be the culprits. Imagine a game of cosmic billiards, where the young sun, nearby stars and gas clouds are the players, and the objects in the Oort cloud are the balls. These players, with their immense gravitational fields, could have effectively potted the Oort cloud objects, sending them into the far reaches of our solar system. Now, remember that all this happened over four and a half billion years ago. That's a lot of time for the Oort cloud objects to settle into their current orbits. And while we're still uncovering the details of this complex process, the Oort cloud's existence provides us with a fascinating glimpse into our solar system's past. So, when we look at the Oort cloud, we're not just looking at a collection of distant icy objects. We're looking at a relic, a testament to the turbulent beginnings of our solar system. In essence, the Oort cloud is a relic of our solar system's turbulent beginnings. But how exactly does the Oort cloud give birth to comets? Well, let's dive into that. The Oort cloud, named after the Dutch astronomer Jan Oort, who first theorized its existence, is like a vast icy reservoir in the farthest reaches of our solar system. It's filled with billions, perhaps even trillions of icy bodies, each a potential comet in waiting. These icy bodies remain in relative peace in the Oort cloud until something disturbs their equilibrium. This could be anything from the gravitational influence of a nearby star to the subtle push and pull of galactic tides. These disturbances can nudge an icy body out of its comfortable orbit in the Oort cloud and send it hurtling towards the inner parts of the solar system. As these icy bodies journey towards the sun, they undergo a fascinating transformation. The sun's heat causes the ice to vaporize, creating a glowing envelope of gas around the object. This is called the coma. 
The pressure of the solar wind then pushes this gas and dust away from the sun, forming a tail that always points away from the sun, no matter which direction the comet is moving. This is the classic image of a comet that we're all familiar with. The composition of comets is equally intriguing. They're often referred to as dirty snowballs because they're made up of a mixture of ice and rock. This ice isn't just water ice, but also frozen gases like carbon dioxide, ammonia, and methane. The rocky material is a mix of silicates and other minerals. These comets are like time capsules, preserving the primordial materials from the early solar system. By studying them, we can gain insights into the conditions that prevailed when the solar system was forming, and perhaps even clues about the origins of life on Earth. In this way, every comet that graces our skies is a visitor from the distant Oort cloud. They are ancient travelers, bearing messages from the dawn of our solar system, and each one has a unique story to tell. So the next time you see a comet streaking across the night sky, remember you're witnessing a cosmic journey, billions of years in the making. The Oort cloud's significance extends beyond just being a comet factory. It helps us understand the outer solar system. Imagine the Oort cloud as a historical record, frozen in time and space. It's an ancient relic from the birth of our solar system, about four and a half billion years ago. The icy bodies within this cloud are thought to be remnants from that time, preserved in the cold expanse of outer space. Studying these objects can give us a glimpse into the early dynamics of our solar system. We can gain insights into the processes that led to the formation of planets and other celestial bodies. It's like piecing together a cosmic jigsaw puzzle, with the Oort cloud providing some of the most distant pieces. But the Oort cloud isn't just a window to the past. It's also a guide to understanding the structure of the outer solar system. It's a vast spherical shell encapsulating the entire solar system. Its outer edge is thought to be where the gravitational influence of our sun ends and interstellar space begins. By studying the Oort cloud, we can better understand the boundaries of our solar system and the influence of our sun's gravity. There's another role that the Oort cloud plays, a protector. Yes, the same cloud that sends comets hurtling towards us also acts as a shield. It's believed to deflect incoming interstellar objects, protecting the inner solar system. Think of it as our solar system's outermost defense line, warding off potential cosmic intruders. But remember, much of our understanding of the Oort cloud is based on theories and indirect observations. It's so far away and the objects within it are so small that we haven't been able to observe it directly. Yet it continues to be a subject of intense study and speculation, a testament to its importance in our quest to understand the cosmos. The Oort cloud, a silent sentinel, is an invaluable key to unlocking the mysteries of our solar system. Despite what we know, the Oort cloud holds many unresolved mysteries. This icy enigma, residing at the outermost reaches of our solar system, presents a conundrum to astronomers. Its vast distance and faint characteristics make it a challenge to study, obscuring it from our most powerful telescopes. Scientists continue to grapple with questions about the Oort cloud. What are its precise dimensions? What types of celestial bodies reside within it? These are just some of the tantalizing mysteries that await resolution. Yet despite these challenges, the pursuit of knowledge continues. Future explorations are being planned, and technological advancements are on the horizon. These tools promise to shed light on the dark reaches of the Oort cloud, helping us understand not only this distant frontier, but also our place in the universe. So, the next time you see a comet streak across the sky, remember, it's a cosmic postcard from the distant Oort cloud, a mysterious frontier at the edge of our solar system.